Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you to help us stay focused on you. Help us to give up the things that are holding us away from you, that's keeping us away from you, that's creating a bridge between you and us. Father God, we ask you today to uh, give us strength, Father God. Help us apply this word to our life. Help us be hearers and doers of your word. Father God, bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So our memory verse of the week is Galatians 3.26, where in Christ you are all sons of God through faith. Galatians 3 and 26. Verse of the day is James 4 and 4. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Subject adultery starts in the heart. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm clean. I'm righteous. I'm not committing adultery. I'm focused. What is adultery? It means to cheat on the one you're married to. I'm not going to sit and point the finger at any sin anyone has done or is doing because the Bible says do not judge. And this is not why we are here today. We're here to understand that when we give our lives to Christ, we are married to him. We are one with Christ. Isaiah 54 and 5 says, For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, and the God of the whole earth is he is called. Second Corinthians 11 and 2, for I feel a divine jealousy for you since I behooved you to one husband to present you as a perversion to Christ. Ephesians 5, 29 through 30, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of the body of the flesh and of the bones, of his bones. This verse tells us that we are one flesh with the Lord that we are members of his body, that we must present ourselves as a pure virgin, and that he is our maker and redeemer. And a lot of times this term gets lost. We don't understand still, we can't take pieces of the word of God and say, this is what I will follow and this is what I won't follow. And in his word, because we are married to him, when we sin, we are committing adultery. The word today says, when we are friends with the world and we do things of the world, we're committing adultery. We are creating empathy between against God. What is empathy? Empathy, empathy, a deeply rooted hatred or animosity because we have decided to leave Him to be with what we think we need, which is the world and friends. We don't need the comforts of this world. We don't need it. We give. He will give us over and beyond what we need if we submit to Him. We become the enemy when we choose the world over God. First John 2, 15 through 16, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life come from the Father, but from does not come from the Father, but comes from the world. It says here, do not love the world or anything in it, because if we love it, our love for God isn't in us. It can't be. We can't love two people, and many people think they can be friends with the world. Friends, we must have a relationship with God because what we see going on in, is we are told to love who we love and how we want to love, and we can be friends with this world. We must love only God, and we can't do both because everything in this world is of the lust of the flesh, the eyes, and the pride of life. Everything in this world makes you want to do the opposite of what the word of God says. And when we do this, we are adulterous. We aren't being faithful. But to stay faithful to God, we must read our word, pray, meditate, fast, dwell in him. If we do none of these things, we will start to lose sight. We will start to recede. Many of us say we are here to love. But we aren't. We are here to worship God in spirit and in truth. Romans 8 and 7 through 8. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to, to God's law, nor can it do so. Those in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. If the flesh governs our mind, if it is hostile to God, that's why every day we need to ask God to renew our mind. Because if we don't, our mind won't submit to him. It will refuse to do anything because we have allowed ourselves to submit to other things. We can't please God as long as we are in the flesh. And shortly, people of God, friends, we won't have the desire to please him at all. We will be so eager to do that, of First John says. We will be too busy filling our eyes and our flesh with things we 
we think matter, but it don't. If you have committed adultery in a relationship with the Lord, come back to him. Come back to him and seek him with your whole heart and let go of the things that cause you to pull away from him. Adultery normally occurs when one person finds someone more attractive or someone is offering them something their spouse isn't at first. And it starts exciting. It starts great. But after a while, it becomes dull. It becomes what two, what the two are looking for is something the other one can only give the other for only a short time. But honestly, adultery starts first in the heart. It's a longing for something they cannot have or something they know they shouldn't have. James 2, 10 through 11. For whoever keeps the whole law and stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking it all. For he who said you shall not commit adultery also said you cannot, you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but do not commit murder, you have broke, have become a lawbreaker. We as believers know we can't and shouldn't participate in the things of the world. But when we do, we are breaking all the laws. We are guilty of, of it all. So when we sin, we aren't just breaking the law of this or that, but every law. And we must understand that why we must live a holy life, not a life of sin and a commit adultery every day. We have an opportunity to submit more and more ourselves to Christ. Still, we must decide to do that. Today, we learned that when we sin, we are committing adultery because we are one with Christ. Because when we become a believer, we are his own. We are his, our body, our mind, our soul. And when we seek other things to take his place, we find other things to desire and we won't. We are replacing our love for him with the love of something else. And nothing in this world will love us like him. We also learned that once we break one law, we have broken them all. And yes, we will stumble. But when we do, we must understand that our sins cause us to have a, a wedge between God and us. Just like a marriage when adultery happened, trust is broken. And a lot of times we don't get what we want or need because God must see that he can trust us with the smallest thing, like obedience. And today, if you are still committing adultery, ask God to change your heart and to give you a heart of flesh and not a heart of stone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. We ask you for grace and mercy. Help us not to commit adultery. Help us to focus on you and give you every part of our heart. We love you so much. We thank you for being our Lord. Every day we, you give us a chance to live for you, Lord. Help us not to just give up, but to push forward. Lord, we are sorry for everything we have done and praise you for good and bad. We thank you for allowing us to give you everything in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our reference, James 2 and 5. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God shown chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to hear the kingdom promise? those who love him james 2 and 5 matthew 24 and 25 who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time matthew 24 and 25 john 14 and 16 jesus said to him i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me john 14 and 16 further reading proverbs 13 genesis 22 Zechariah 8 and Mark 15. This ends, adultery starts in the heart. Remember that the links in the bottom for reading this devotion will be in this podcast. Remember memory verse, the verse of the day, and further reading and reference will be at the bottom as well. And remember to like, subscribe on any platform. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to share with a family member or friend. If you can, please share with social media. Thank you. Be blessed.